What's up, Fire Family? Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. This is going to be for all zodiac signs. So, guys, please do only take what resonates with you and never force it to fit your situation. If it does resonate, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my tears have healed my heart .com. Two things are really quick today only 60% off readings. You have to book it on my tears have healed my heart .com. The code is in the community tab. And the second announcement is I restocked the 2025 year round reading on my online store. I know it was out of stock, but I restocked it because I know a lot of you guys said you guys wanted to pay them for like do the after pay and stuff like that. So it's back on my website okay um so yes so y'all can definitely check that out let's start out with some spirit messages i feel like starting out with some spirit messages let's see what spirit has to say all right and then we are going to our reading we haven't did finances and career in a minute so we're gonna do that too we're gonna do a little bit of everything we're gonna do spirit messages finances career Love, love, love. Oh, yeah, and happy November, y'all, because I didn't post on Friday, or did I? Did I? I don't know if I did or not. I don't remember. Somebody probably blowing y'all up. Okay, see how my phone is ding, ding. Somebody blowing y'all up. Okay. So let's look at these spirit messages and let's see what's coming in for you guys all right i right, let's see spirit messages we got magic prayer i'm trying to get the lighting i told y'all this okay so we got magic prayer number 28 and remember 28 breaks down to 10 10 breaks down to what one in the beginning all right so it says your prayers will be answered Speak your intentions and the universe will provide your heart's desire. So we are needing to get on the knees, y'all, and pray. And I ain't even trying to be funny or nasty when I say this, but y'all can get down on y'all knees for other things. Start getting on y'all knees to pray. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty. See how she's positioned? That's why I said that. Alright? So pray, y'all. Okay? It says, let yourself receive. Number 43. All right, seven. So that's a really good number, too. 43 breaks down to seven. It says, when you step into the space of receiving, it allows you to be open to unexpected sources that add joy to your life. So that heart chakra needs to be healed at this time, y'all. Y'all are needed to open up and heal that heart chakra. All right, we got healthy changes. Yes, I love it. Nine, I love all these in these new beginnings, this prayer, these receiving healthy changes. So let's see. It says there's something in your life that isn't helping your body and mind. Focus on creating a wellness-focused mind and body. So y'all are making healthy changes to your mind, body, and soul, okay? Love it. All right, work your life. Yes, work it. Number, uh, another seven, 52, breaks down to seven. So it says, let the light of your presence illuminate every room you enter and let them see the light that you carry. Okay, so I'm loving this, okay? So y'all got healthy changes coming in. You guys better work that light, okay? Let yourself receive a magic prayer. At the bottom, we have new opportunities, number three. So love this, okay? It says, better things are opening up for you. Leave the comfort zone behind and open your world to new possibilities with an open mind, okay? So I love the spirit messages. Glad that I grabbed them. Love it, love it, love it. Let's pull some chakra cards. Let's see where your energy is at right now. And then we're going to hop into finances and career. And then we'll look at love. Where's the collective energy at right now? Grieve. Y'all are grieving right now. Okay. She has a pet in her hand. Some of you guys can be grieving over a pet. Okay. We have faith. So you guys are grieving and having faith that something is going to change or happen or come back towards you guys. Let's see. We have despondent. So maybe somebody isn't responding to you guys or maybe you guys are just not responding to somebody. You're silent. You're still. You're not really seeing or doing much. Or maybe that's how somebody is in your life. 
we have expansion. And I feel like if somebody was is out of your life or if there was some type of ending, I still want you guys to have faith, but faith that things are going to get better and that you're going to move forward, okay? Because there's a lot of growth coming into your life. You guys are needing to forgive and heal the past, okay? You guys went through a lot, suffered a lot, and you guys are on a new journey with the quest card, okay? But we have expansion and we have growth. So in order for things to grow and expand, you got to have faith, heal, forgive, and trust the process, okay? Let's go into this expansion card. Wisdom. So what did you learn? What did, what, what did you gain? What did you learn from this situation? A lot of heart chakra cards. Green is about the heart chakra, right? And so we have victim, okay? And discovery. Some of you guys, you know, you guys could have been a victim in a situation. Maybe you guys were playing victim in a situation. Or you guys were with somebody that kept playing victim, okay, in a situation that kept trying to, like, blame everything on you. And not taking accountability. And that's what you guys are releasing from your life. Okay. So it can be either or. Now, when I say victim in a situation, you know, if you allow somebody to do something to you over and over again, then you are no longer a victim in a situation. So if you're with somebody and they keep lying and you keep taking them back or keep letting them lie, you're not a victim anymore. Because it already happened several times. Or when you let somebody cheat over and over, you're no longer a victim to their cheating. Why? Because you kept letting it happen. Okay. So, um... The question of the day is, what did you guys learn? We got the wisdom card. What did what did y'all learn? What are y'all learning? Or what did y'all learn? Okay. So let's look at finances and career. Let's see. Finances and career for the collective. What do they need to know? All right. Look what came out the middle of the deck when I was shuffling. We got Clover. All right, so it says lucky break, gamble, good fortune, chance, finances, outdoors, risky business, surprises. All right, so y'all are about to catch some type of lucky break. You guys have some good fortune coming towards you guys, so that's good. Here's some messages for the collective when it comes to finances and career. We got spiral. So if things have been spiraling out of control, um, it's going to stop. You guys can be getting a promotion or connecting with somebody. Okay, look, treasures. This looks really good. So, if things were spiraling out of control, that's about to change. That's about to stop. So, things are going going from, like, crazy and all over the place to a lot better. Let's see what your angels have to say. Um, I will pull a couple of tarot cards on this, too. I feel like things were a little bit out of control. Let me see. Why is the spiraling card here? Listen to your intuition. So listen to your intuition at this time to help you guys get out of a situation. Yep. See, look, intuition and success. So something that's going to turn out to be very successful, but you guys are going to need to listen and follow, follow and trust your intuition in a situation. All right. If you know something that's coming towards you, believe it and trust it. For a lot of you guys, something is coming towards you guys. We have a no. I wonder why the no card is here. Why is no here? get more information and yes okay so something that was a no for some of you guys is going to turn into a yes because right here we have revisiting a job so a job may revisit your resume call you back in or something like that or a job may let you guys come back if you guys were scared that you were going to get fired or laid off or something like that maybe that's going to change you know they're like okay we need you let's get some messages for the collective for finances and career. Messages for the collective for finances and career. Messages for the collective finances and career. Messages for the collective finances and career. Finances and career for the collective. We got the moon reverse. Something is about to be revealed. Let me make sure I got this up in order. Okay. So let me see. Some of you guys were upset because you guys felt like you guys were being blocked or like not getting recognition, praise. Somebody could have stole our ideas or somebody was just talking shit, talking behind your back, it was making you mad. There might have been a fight at the job. Somebody could be injured for some of you guys. Somebody start swinging. Somebody could have picked up something and started swinging. It seems like there was a fight at the job or if somebody wants to fight you guys or fight you or you want to fight somebody. Um, some of you guys are in a very unhealthy work environment. It's just, it's, it's real bad. 
yeah this can lead to like somebody getting fired just this year so for some of you guys this could be something that goes to court or um you will get justice in this situation maybe you were attacked by somebody yep as soon as i said the five of wands some of you guys were attacked by somebody it could be verbally attacked physically attacked okay like you're gonna have to go somewhere and um or take them to court like not go somewhere but yeah see you're gonna get paid some money somebody's gonna get paid some money for being attacked or being treated wrong at the job or something like that if it's not a fight it's like somebody was treating wrong here they're two different colors so it could be you know like racism or something crazy like that i don't think i'm able to even say that word on youtube but it can be something like that but i do see a payout for you guys you guys aren't being um treated fairly yeah you guys had to walk away or somebody ended your job but for others of you it was a fight that somebody started somebody's also been sending you guys dark energy towards the work and your finances um somebody is making people not like you guys or just sending negative energy towards your work are you and it's causing people not to like you guys yeah somebody's laughing about this right now mm -hmm. the person that's doing this or the person that's laughing that wants the worst for you that person will be revealed this month november all right um leo you guys could be getting some crazy ass news coming towards you guys this month in november i don't know why but that's six long leo energy it could be crazy and when you find out who it is or what they're doing you're gonna fall out the fucking chair okay so um be careful y'all not just leos any sign but we did have some leo energy back there I mean, that came out, all right? But other than that, finances and career look good for a lot of you guys outside of the drama. Um, Because you got worry-free finances, money reserved. So that means a lot of you guys are about to start, like, your money is about to start looking real good. I know it's the holidays. Try not to spend it all at once. I know it's hard buying the kiddos, gifts, and stuff. But let's go in the clover. Let's see. Within the next few weeks. So within the next few weeks, a lot of things are going to change for you guys financially. And with the treasures card, let's see. Yep, reconsider. And we got compromise. Yep, meditation brings answer. So somebody may reconsider, change your mind about you or change your mind about something. But if not, it's like something. Yeah, no need to worry. Something that you wanted that you didn't get or that wasn't coming fast enough is going to come. Whether it's more clientele, whether it's um, more hours, something like that. But it's like your money is about to like... It's about to increase, okay? So it's gonna look really good. Mm hmm Your money is gonna look really good. Really good. Okay. So let's see y'all. Uh, Let's be no, we're gonna look at love. No, my smoothie's gone. Love messages for the collective. Who are what is coming towards the collective? Who are what is coming towards the collective? Who are what is coming towards the collective in love? Who are pentacles? Hmm.
Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The star in reverse. So this is somebody that wants to be with you guys. See the two of cups? They feel like you are their person. They feel like you are their soulmate. And this could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. Could be any sign. Any sign. And they're just sitting there. And they're just like, they're sitting there and they're wanting this, but they're not taking action. To them, they feel like it's not over. But with the star in reverse, like this person needs to heal. They need to take some time to figure things out. Are they're kind of like in this energy of not feeling like life right now. They're not feeling successful, um, not feeling abundant. They feel like they don't have a lot to offer and give you at this time. So they're just sitting there. They're in a still position right now with the four of pentacles. All right. So this person, they're not going to take no action. Four of pentacles is not taking any action towards you whatsoever. So the person that's coming towards you hasn't come towards you guys yet um, because they're like in this still energy. So let's see why the star is coming up in reverse. Why is the star coming up in reverse? The star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse? We have the chariot. Mm. Somebody definitely wants to move forward. But they feel like if they take action right now, it's not a good time. Remember, we got it. we're going off the star in reverse. Yeah, these are two major arcanas, but hmm. Let me see. Judgment is here. That's what I'm saying. The emperor. See, this is somebody that wants to come towards you, but they don't want to come towards you until they're ready. The chariot is here. Judgment and the emperor. So this is somebody that they're they're like I said, they're healing, they're doing the work. Um and they don't want to come towards you until they can provide, so they can offer you something. And so they can give you um more like they want to be in this emperor energy when they come all right so this is somebody that's like no like i really want to show you what i'm all about like i want to give you more so mm, why is the emperor here going to the emperor the seven of cups they have a lot on their mind too there's so many different things they want to do there's so many ways they want to go about this situation but they feel like the best thing to do is just be still right now and think it all out. So this is somebody that's thinking it through. Like thinking, like trying to plan it out. Think things through. You know, something like that. Why are the seven of cups here? Ace of swords in reverse. See, that's what I'm saying. They're not mentally prepared and ready. So that's what they're doing. They're thinking about everything. But like I said, this is somebody that is like, they don't want it to be over yet. But whoever this is. When they left or when you guys broke up, they try to make it seem like, oh, I'm so glad it's over. I'm glad to be out of this relationship. You know, I'm glad it's over between us. Like, that they're they're doing all that shit because they got the death card in reverse here. And sometimes the death card in reverse can mean that, okay? So this would be somebody that try to, like, make you feel like they're glad that they moved on from you. They're glad that it's over. They're, they're glad that it ended. You know, they can be saying a lot of things, DMing you guys, messaging you, just saying a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they're not going to do nothing. Why is the death card in reverse? See, look. Told you they're fronting. The death card in reverse is the death card in reverse. See, they really want to be the king of pentacles in your life. They really want to be your man. They really want to commit to you. Or your woman. They really want to commit to you. But they know they're not ready for you. And that's what, see, look, eight of swords. They feel stuck, trapped, restricted, tied down. Ace of Cups. Yes, see, this is somebody that is in love with you. Somebody's initials could be M or W or V, P. And look, we got the Ten of Swords. They did a lot of damage. They hurt you in a lot of ways. And this person honestly doesn't even know if you still love with them or if you still love them or still really going to fuck with them after what they did. So they did a lot of damage. They hurt you guys a lot. And on the thing that says Deadline, Somebody didn't meet their deadline. Somebody had a deadline and it could be to meet your expectations or to change or to get their act right or get their shit together. And somebody is not following through. So like somebody is not doing what they're supposed to do. And like I said, we got this deadline here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is deadline on Ten of Swords? Yep. You gave them a chance for a new beginning. We got the Four of Wands, the Tower. 
the ace of cups see they are going to come back but it's going to be on their timing but you wanted a new beginning or you gave them a chance for a new beginning or you know you were up for a new beginning you know like okay like let's start over but with the tower being here the way it is this is something that needs to be rebuilt on a solid foundation and that's what they're not doing like i said they're just sitting there sitting still not taking any action the ten of swords here again and this person is like trying to reach for their broom like like on here like this is somebody that's like damn what should i do like this is even you at this point like damn i don't even know how to fix the situation like it got so bad that you're just like i can't even fix this i i don't even know what to do i don't know how to move out of this situation i move forward Mm -hmm. the king of wands you want this person to pursue you and come towards you are you guys could be being pursued by a king of wands aries zero sagittarius mm, we got the ten of cups so yeah y'all could be being pursued by one you have three of wands some of you guys are moving forward okay so some of you guys are attracting a new love okay because you guys want some type of new beginning with this person but like i said this person is sitting here they're not taking action they're not doing anything y'all they're in their head a lot yes but It's this side. Let me see. Let me see. Why are the four of pentacles here? Why is this person just sitting here? Why is this person just sitting here and not taking action? The tower told you the magician's reverse. They feel like there's nothing they can do to save this. But it's like over here, they want to take action. They're like, okay, I'm going to fix this. But they don't even know where to start. They don't know how to go about the situation. So what they're going to do is they're going to sit in that still energy for too long. And this is going to be a missed opportunity. Because the magician in reverse, for one, is somebody that does not have all the tools. Someone that knows they can no longer manipulate you or the situation anymore. Meaning like maybe before they were able to like play victim, lie, like just do a lot of stuff. And they can't no more. We have the tower here twice, the magicians in reverse with the four of pentacles. They're also sitting on the bullshit that they've done, meaning like this person is very aware of what they've done. And they're like this sitting on their bullshit like, damn, like I, I fucked up this, I did this, I did that. You know what I'm saying? And so now they have to sit with themselves. This is somebody that really has to sit with themselves and what they were used to getting away with. Maybe you put your foot down, maybe you set some boundaries and you're just like, no. Could be a Virgo, Gemini or a Scorpio. But not of pentacles, it's going to take them a while. Knight of pentacles moves very slow. So it might take this person up to like a year or maybe sometime next year before they fully get their shit together and are able to come towards you guys with a solid offer. Now, in their head, they have so many ideas and there's so many things that they want to do. Okay. Um, There's so many things that they want to do, but they just can't take action right now. So, that can be what this is about as well. Let's see. We got the magician in reverse. Why is the magician in reverse? See, I told you five of pentacles. <laughs> they they can they can't help themselves. They can't do nothing for themselves right now. So how can they help and do something? For, how can they help you or do anything for you if they can't do anything for themselves? They would love to come together, three of pentacles, and work this out. But they know in order for them to come towards you and work it out, they got to do what? Be the emperor. That's what's over here. The emperor. So it's just repeating energy. So it's pretty much just telling me that this person would love to be with you. They want to be with you, but they feel like they have nothing to give you, nothing to offer, nothing to show for. They can't give to themselves, so they can't give to you. This is somebody that has to rebuild, and it's going to take some time. And where they're at in life, it's y'all are further ahead than them, okay? So they're just not in a good place or space in their life, and they need to be alone for some time and slowly but surely rebuild themselves back up. But like I said, by that time, you guys are going to be pursued by somebody else, or you guys have somebody new coming in that is pursuing you guys, okay? Um, 
Yep, see the five of cups. This person is sad. They miss you. They miss the kids. They miss the life that y'all had, the lifestyle, the things that y'all did. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys were pregnant. Okay, so you guys have a, a small child together, but we have the Queen of Cups here. This reminds me of like vacation vibes and energy. So they could miss the vacations that y'all took, and maybe y'all did a lot of stuff by the water or went out of town, you know, did stuff like that, and they miss all of that. Yeah, the Six of Swords. They just wish y'all can just come together and move forward together, but they know that that like the thing, but they're thinking is it's not realistic because they know it's not gonna happen that way. And they know, like, they know for sure, you're damn sure not going to, like, let them come back in the way they are. Especially the way they left. Because that can be, like, why they left, why you guys broke up, why things ended between you guys. It can be that, too. So, there's a couple different things I'm thinking about. As far as them and not wanting to come back. So, let's see. Two of Wands. They, this is somebody that would choose you every time because they know in their heart or feel in their heart that you are their soulmate. But for some reason, y'all, I just feel like this is going to be a missed opportunity. I don't know why. Why is this going to be a missed opportunity, spirit? Seven of Swords. They're not, because they weren't, think, they're not thinking quick enough. And by the time they do think of something or try to come back around, you're going to be in a different place, a different space, happier. Or with somebody else. Or all of the above. You're going to be in love with somebody else. King of Cups. Mm -hmm. And you're going to let them go. Your Eight of Cups in reverse. Four of Swords. Eight of Cups. You're going to walk away by the time they they came back. Five of Swords in reverse. Like at peace. Not wanting to argue. Not wanting to fight. Over it. Not upset. Not mad at them. It just is what it is. It didn't work out. And walking away. And they're going to be upset. But I feel like. Hey. I feel like they did it to themselves. Let's look at the energy of this new love coming in. And then we'll pull some cards on them and see how they are feeling as well. Sexual needs will be met for sure with the new love. You guys will spend a lot of quality time together. It says searching. You you're in, uh, you need to step outside of your comfort zone to get noticed more. So what you are searching for could be in this person. We have distant love. Someone is always thinking about you. So this can also be someone that is at a distance or someone that is always thinking about you. So when y'all are not together, when y'all are apart, they're just always they're always thinking about you. Okay, let's see. Inner child. So this person can help you heal. Your inner child help you address old wounds. Okay. Mm, Self-love. For some of you guys, as you are healing and focusing on yourself and healing your inner child and, you know, practicing self-love, then this person comes in. So some of you guys haven't met this person, but this person is going to leave an impression, leave a mark on you. And this is somebody that you guys will be dating. Meaning like this person, like you're going to be really into them. And at the bottom, we got heaven sent. So this is, this is the connection you've been praying for. And look what's under that. New love. Okay, so that definitely confirms everything. And see, look what's under that separation. So a lot of you guys are in separation, okay, from this other person. But let's see the messages for this other person. One second, y'all. There's some packages at my door. Give me one second. All right, y'all. I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's raining outside. I just didn't want my packages to get wet. So I had to go grab them. All righty, let's see. Let's 
We've got messages from, from this person. Because like I said, whoever this is, they want to be in your life so bad, but they know they can't show up unless they're the emperor. That's what I'm saying. Like, messages for your other person's silence. So that would definitely make sense. They've been silent. They're not going to say nothing. Watching. They're watching you guys. So watching you on social media. They're healing right now. We saw that up there. Boundaries. They respect your boundaries. So maybe y'all have set some boundaries. They're like, oh, I don't want to be with you unless you got this, that, this, 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 and that. Or unless you can do this and this and this and this for me, you know. Okay, they up there partying, you know. Mm -hmm. After walking away. So they partying. They went out for drinks, staying out all night. They can be having a good time, you know, having sex with people right now. Because they going through a breakup with y'all or whatever. But they have been partying. They been a little playa, playa, having sex with others. Yeah, see the walking away card came back out. So it's like they're healing, but they're also talking to other people. I don't think these other people are anybody serious. Or I don't think there's anything serious between them and the other people or other person. I feel like they're just trying to like, you know heal and just figure out their feelings or whatever but like i said they want to be in your life so bad but they're not the emperor you guys do have a past life connection um you guys could have just moved in together or we're moving or maybe you guys were going to try to relocate to be next to each other or whatever something happened after a move or around the move or something like that or maybe the relationship is just not moving forward right now okay so that is what i have for you guys that is your reading okay um Yes, that is it, y'all. All right, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. All right, y'all. And if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com, y'all. Bye, loves.